Happiness is nothing more than good health and a bad memory. Prayers do not change the world, but prayers change people, and people change the world. An optimist is a person who sees a green light everywhere, while a pessimist sees only the red stoplight. The truly wise person is colorblind. Eventually all things fall into place. Until then, laugh at the confusion, live for the moments, and know everything happens for a reason. Respond to critiques with accomplishments. In the hopes of reaching the moon, men fail to see the flowers that blossom at their feet. At 20, everyone has the face that God gave them. At 40, the face that life gave them. And at 60, the face they earned. Happiness is the only thing that doubles when you share it. The result of the voyage does not depend on the speed of the ship, but on whether or not it keeps a true course. Many people know they are unhappy, but even more people don't know they are happy. There are two means of refuge from the misery of life, music and cats. If you love something so much, let it go. If it comes back, it was meant to be. If it doesn't, it never was. Constant kindness can accomplish much, as the sun makes ice melt. Kindness causes misunderstanding, mistrust, and hostility to evaporate. Do something for somebody every day for which you do not get paid. Anyone who proposes to do good must not expect people to roll stones out of his way, but must accept his lot calmly even if they roll a few stones upon it. Example is not the main thing in influencing others. It is the only thing. Life becomes harder for us when we live for others, but it also becomes richer and happier. Seek always to do some good somewhere even if it's a little thing. So something for those that need help. Something for which you get no pay, but the privilege of doing it. We live in a dangerous age. Man is controlling nature before he has learned to control himself. Do not lose heart, even if you must wait a bit before finding the right thing. Be prepared for disappointment also, but do not abandon the quest. A good example has twice the value of good advice. Thinking about death produces love for life. When we are familiar with death, we accept each week, each day, as a gift. Only if we are able thus to accept life Bit by bit, does it become precious. The purpose of human life is to serve and to show compassion and the will to help others. Man must cease attributing his problems to his environment and learn again to exercise his will, his personal responsibility in the realm of faith and morals. A great secret of success is to go through life as a man who never gets used up. 
Love usually dies from the little flaws you find so delightful at the beginning. In no way must we allow ourselves to be moved to want to silence the voice of humanity within us. Compassion for all creatures is what makes man truly human. If you own something you cannot give away, then you don't own it. It owns you. The willow which bends to the tempest often escapes better than the oak which resists it. And so in great calamities, it sometimes happens that light and frivolous spirits recover their elasticity and presence of mind sooner than those of a loftier character. As soon as man does not take his existence for granted, but beholds it as something unfathomably mysterious, thought begins. It is not enough to merely exist. It is not enough to say, I'm earning enough to live and support my family. I do my work well. I'm a good parent. That's all very well but you must do something more. We are all so much together, but we are all dying of loneliness. Seek always to do some good somewhere. Every man has to seek his own way to realize his true worth. You must give some time to your fellow man. For remember, you don't live in a world all your own. Your brothers are here too. The tragedy of life is what dies inside a man while he lives. The more kind a person is, the less he notices the bad in people. Do not let Sunday be taken from you. If your soul has no Sunday, becomes an orphan. Never be silent when you're asked about your thoughts, opinions, or experiences, for your voice has the power to enlighten, inspire, and connect with others. Many a truth has lain unnoticed for a long time, ignored simply because no one perceived its potential for becoming a reality. Train yourself never to put off the word or action for the expression of gratitude. The interior joy we feel when we have done a good deed is the nourishment the soul requires. I am certain and have always stressed that the destination of mankind is to become more and more humane the ideal of humanity has to be revived. <laughs>